Good morning, boys and girls. Today we're going to read a book called The Rainbow Fish. Our main goal today is to look for the problems throughout the story. I'm going to look at dialogue and actions to really look at problems going on with the characters because those are awesome clues that tell us what the main problems are. You might hear me stop and think about the problem, and sometimes I'm going to ask you to stop and jot and think about the problem as well. So make sure you have a pen and paper, and when you're ready, let's go. Today I'll be reading to you The Rainbow Fish by Marcus Fister. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish. Not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in that entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple, with sparkling silver scales among them. Other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. The Rainbow Fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow fish, he called. Wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful, and you have so many. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me. Shock, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset. He told all his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by. Okay, so I'm already noticing some dialogue, and I'm also noticing some actions that are telling us that there's a problem. In the first paragraph, you can see the little, the big rainbow fish is, get away from me. I'm noticing that's a problem because he definitely doesn't want the other little fish near him which I think is kind of rude. But then also you can tell the little fish was shocked and upset and he swam away and now nobody wants to play with the big fish. So I'm thinking that the main problem is that the big fish is kind of mean to the other fish and now nobody wants to play with him. Let's see what happens next. What good were the dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. The little fish found the cave. It was very dark inside and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly, two eyes caught him in their glare, and the octopus emerged from the darkness. I have been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. I can't, the rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales, my beautiful shining scales, never. How can I ever be happy without them? Okay, so I'm going to stop and notice that the is there's some important dialogue and action here. The rainbow fish says, I can't. He's thinking, give away my scales, my beautiful shining scales, never. How could I ever be happy without them? Okay, so we discussed that the main problem so far in this book is that the rainbow fish was kind of being selfish and didn't really want to share. And the other fish didn't want to play with him. So I'm going to ask you to stop and jot. Are you ready? Get your pencil and paper. Okay, do you agree? Is it the same problem as before, or do you disagree that there's a new problem? I want you to write down if you think the problem is the same, or is the problem different. I'll give you a couple minutes now, and then when you're ready, hit play. Suddenly he felt the light touch of a fin. 
The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. Only one very, very small shimmery scale, he thought. Well, maybe I wouldn't miss just one. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Thank you, thank you very much. The little blue fish bubbled playfully as he tucked the shiny scale in among his blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing, so it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right, and the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last fell at home among the other fish. Okay, so as we said that the main problem in this story was that the rainbow fish was kind of selfish and he didn't want to share his scales, making the other fish not really want to play with him. But I'm noticing in this part of the book that the other fish are starting to play with the rainbow fish. Why do you think that is? I want you to stop and jot now the answer to this question. Has the problem been solved? You can write yes, the problem has been solved, or no, the problem has not been solved. Of course, make sure you add evidence. When you're ready, and it have, after you've stopped and jotted, please click play and watch the rest of the story. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left. His most prized possessions has been given away, yet he was very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish, and happy as the splash, he swam off to join his friends. The end. Thanks for watching. Okay, guys, now that you've read the entire story of the rainbow fish, and we've kind of tracked the problem throughout the story, what I want you to do is I want you to sign on to the Flipgrid link that is below this link. And I want you to answer the following question. What was the main problem in the story? And was it solved? Can't wait to see your responses. Thanks so much.